the LQBTQ community faces an existential threat in Africa. Several countries, including Nigeria, Kenya, and Uganda, have criminalized same-sex relations with some even punishable by death. Of the 72 countries worldwide that criminalize homosexuality, 32 of them are in Africa, where punishments range from imprisonment to the death penalty in countries such as Mauritania and Sudan. These countries have nonchalantly declared war on the gay community. In light of the controversy surrounding LGBTQ rights at the Qatar World Cup, we thought we'd shed some light on the situation on the continent. Today we are going to be breaking down the 10 worst countries for LGBTQ travelers in Africa. 10. Sudan LGBTQ people in Sudan experience legal difficulties that non-LGBTQ citizens do not. Sudan abolished both corporal punishment and the death penalty for same-sex sexual activity in July 2020. Sodomy is still prohibited, and the associated sentences of imprisonment have not changed. For a third offense, life in prison continues to be the harshest punishment. The risk of being harassed and detained by the public order police for violating the nation's public order or morality laws, which govern every aspect of behavior down to what you wear, exists even though the death penalty has not been applied. In 2010, the Khartoum Public Order Police raided a private party where guests were celebrating the unofficial marriage of two homosexual men. A number of the visitors were engaging in cross-dressing, which is forbidden in Sudan. They were accused of violating public morals by acting in a womanly manner while dancing, wearing feminine attire, and applying makeup. Nineteen of the attendees were fined and publicly spanked with 30 lashes. In Sudan, the LGBTQ community has never received official recognition, and it continues to be largely denied all rights to freedom, peace, and justice. You run the risk of being subjected to hate crimes, losing your job, and being denied access to health and educational services due to your sexual orientation or gender identity. 9. Nigeria the situation of LGBTQ human rights in Nigeria has been worse during the past 10 years. All across the nation, same-sex relationships are forbidden. A form of Sharia law that makes same-sex relationships punishable by death and criminalizes gender expression that does not conform to gender norms associated with the sex assigned at birth has also been adopted by 12 northern regions. The Same-Sex Marriage Act was enacted into law in 2014. The act punishes anyone who registers, operates, or participates in gay clubs, societies, and organizations with a 10-year prison sentence in addition to same-sex marriage and displays of affection between people of the same sex. Additionally, it establishes a penalty for those who abet same-sex relationships or know about them, criminalizing LGBTQ people's friends and families. Following the passage of this law, police and government employees have arbitrarily detained, targeted, and demanded money from LGBTQ Nigerians. The prevalence of violence and harassment committed by private individuals is similarly significant. Government representatives frequently criticize LGBTQ people in public, which adds to Nigeria's persistent anti-LGBTQ sentiment. The UN's loudest critics of the appointment of an independent expert on sexual orientation and gender identity were Nigerian representatives. 8. Malawi According to Malawi's Penal Code, which punishes acts of gross indecency and carnal knowledge against the order of nature, same-sex sexual conduct is forbidden. The highest penalty for violating these laws is 14 years in prison followed by corporal punishment. The law punishes both men and women equally. Trans people may be prosecuted under a law that criminalizes idle and unruly persons, which carries a maximum sentence of six months in prison and a fine, in addition to potentially falling under laws that criminalize same-sex activities. In 1960, when Malawi was subjected to English criminal law, the law was acquired from the British. After gaining independence, Malawi kept the clause in place, and same-sex sexual activity is still illegal today. Since 2014, there has been a moratorium on arrests made in accordance with the criminalizing provisions. Although LGBTQ people have occasionally been detained, there do not appear to have been any prosecutions during this time. 
In recent years, there have been numerous reports of discrimination and violence against LGBTQ people, including assaults, arbitrary detentions, harassment, and prejudice in the workplace and in schools. 7. Kenya According to Kenya's Penal Code, which punishes acts of gross indecency and carnal knowledge against the order of nature, same-sex sexual conduct is illegal. The maximum punishment for violating these provisions is 14 years in prison. Under this law, only men are considered criminals. Kenya was subjected to English criminal law throughout the colonial era, and this legislation was passed down from the British. Following independence, Kenya kept its colonial era penal code, and same-sex sexual behavior is still illegal today. There is some evidence that the law has been enforced recently, with LGBTQ people occasionally being arrested for violating its criminalizing provisions. However, reports indicate that police tend to arrest LGBTQ people more frequently for violating laws against loitering, solicitation, and impersonation. In recent years, there have been numerous reports of discrimination and violence against LGBTQ people, including high-profile attacks on LGBTQ refugees in the Kakuma refugee camp. 6. Tanzania LGBTQ people in Tanzania suffer legal difficulties that non-LGBTQ citizens do not. In Tanzania, homosexuality is a taboo subject and same-sex behaviors, even when they are consenting and private, are crimes that carry a life sentence. Heterosexuals who engage in oral sex and anal contact are also subject to legal sanctions. The seventh highest rate of non-acceptance among the 45 countries surveyed, the 2007 Pew Global Attitudes Project found that 95% of Tanzanians thought that homosexuality is a way of life that society should not accept. Only 10% of Tanzanians, one of the lowest percentages in Africa, but up from a 2007 poll, said they would be accepting of someone who had a different sexual orientation, according to an Afrobarometer 2020 survey. Tanzania has recently grown especially unfriendly to LGBTU persons. On the grounds of promoting homosexuality, it deported many HIV and AIDS organizations in October 2017. There are reportedly 1 million HIV and AIDS-affected people in Tanzania. Additionally, the government has been using more and more homophobic language since they think homosexuality is un-African. Gay people in Dar es Salaam were subjected to torture and anal examinations in 2018 as a result of a so-called witch hunt against them. Human rights are not well respected in Tanzania. The government is showing less respect for the right to assemble and speak. 5. Uganda Unlike non-LGBTQ residents, LGBTQ people in Uganda experience stigmatization, active discrimination, and legal difficulties. In Uganda, homosexual activity is prohibited for both men and women. Carnal knowledge against the order of nature between two males could result in a life sentence under the penal code. Despite political and religious authorities' active encouragement, LGBTQ people still experience severe discrimination in Uganda. The majority of violent and brutal attacks on LGBTQ people are committed by state agents. Unlike opposite-sex couples, same-sex couples are not entitled to the same legal protections as married couples. Since 2005, same-sex unions are not allowed under the Constitution. Prior to colonial rule, homosexual relationships were accepted and frequent in Ugandan society. When Britain took control of Uganda, it enacted laws criminalizing homosexuality. After independence, these laws remained in place. The 2013 Passed Uganda Anti-Homosexuality Act 2014 was revoked in 2014. Life in jail was the maximum penalty under the Act for aggravated homosexuality. The law brought Uganda to the attention of the world and sparked outrage, leading many governments to refuse to give Uganda any more aid. The departing parliament passed new laws criminalizing both sex labor and same-sex relationships in May 2021. 4. Somalia 
Being LGBTQ in Somalia is very illegal, and same-sex sexual behavior is punishable by death in Jubaland and places under Al-Shabaab control. LGBTQ people frequently suffer criminal prosecution from the government, as well as stigmatization from the general public. In the Somali Republic, a new penal code was put into effect in 1964. The law specifies that if the act does not amount to a more serious felony, anyone who engages in carnal intercourse with a person of the same sex faces a sentence of three months to three years in jail. The sentence imposed is reduced by one-third if the conduct was an act of lust rather than carnal intercourse. Both family planning services and factual information on human sexuality are difficult to obtain. Humanitarian workers have claimed that it is frequently challenging to publicly discuss how the virus can spread because of Islamic societal mores. Since 1999, international organizations like the United Nations have provided a large portion of AIDS and HIV education and care. 3. Ethiopia LGBTQ people in Ethiopia suffer legal difficulties that non-LGBTQ citizens do not. The government forbids both male and female same-sex relationships, and there have been several allegations of discrimination and abuse against LGBTQ people. Due to Ethiopia's long history of social conservatism, same-sex relationships are viewed as quite uncommon. But the majority of Ethiopians still view LGBTQ people negatively and see them as a Western violation of their traditional standards. Many people attribute Ethiopia's alleged HIV and AIDS epidemic to homosexual men. Because of the widespread discrimination and stigma, some LGBTQ Ethiopians hide their identities or leave the country in search of asylum. 97% of Ethiopians, according to the 2007 Pew Global Attitudes Project, think that society shouldn't tolerate homosexuality as a way of life. In the 45 countries questioned, this was the second highest rate of non-acceptance. Despite the absence of a legislation governing military service, gay and lesbian individuals do not openly serve in the army. In Ethiopia, the term bushti, which is derogatory for gay people, is frequently used as an insult to describe despicable people. 2. Zambia LGBTQ people in Zambia confront legal obstacles that non-LGBTQ citizens do not. In Zambia, it is against the law for both sexes to engage in same-sex relationships. Zambia, a former province of the British Empire, retained the legal framework of its colonial occupants after gaining independence in 1964. Since then, homosexuality has been mostly unaffected by regulations, which are now governed by sodomy statutes that also forbid bestiality. The majority of social attitudes toward LGBTQ individuals are unfavorable and influenced by beliefs that homosexuality is immoral and a form of insanity. LGBTQ people are victims of police and government breaches of their human rights. They are violently and cruelly treated while being detained and subject to arbitrary arrest and incarceration. According to reports, police intimidate and blackmail LGBTQ people. Forced anal examinations are used to acquire evidence against those who are accused of same-sex activity. For the purpose of obtaining any proof of same-sex sexual activity, such invasive and traumatic procedures are widely discredited by medical professionals and human rights organizations. LGBTQ people also experience major societal discrimination and abuse. Threats against specific individuals, stalking, vandalism, assault, and other hate crimes, such as murder, may also occur. With little chance of getting help from the police or the government, they frequently endure harassment and discrimination from the community. 1. Egypt LGBTQ people in Egypt confront legal difficulties that non-LGBTQ citizens do not. 95% of Egyptians, according to a 2013 Pew Research Center survey, think that society should not accept homosexuality. Same-sex sexual acts are not expressly forbidden by Egyptian law today. Instead, the state uses a number of morality laws to effectively make homosexual behavior illegal. These provisions may be used to bring legal action against anyone who engages in conduct or expresses ideas that are deemed to be immoral, scandalous, or contrary to the teachings of a well-known religious leader. 
Along with the proponents of LGBTQ reform, these laws pertaining to public morality and order have also been used against LGBTQ people. Human Rights Watch's report on the nation's treatment of LGBTQ individuals goes into further detail. The research, titled Egypt, Security Forces Abuse, Torture LGBTQ People, highlights torture of sexual and gender minorities detained by the state as well as the entrapment of LGBTQ people through social media platforms. According to Rashid Younes, an expert on LGBTQ rights, even if criminal charges are dropped, anyone convicted of doing an act related to the LGBTQ community risks being shunned by their family, losing access to medical treatment, and losing their job. Medical neglect of transgender people is common. Regular harassment and abuse by state officials and the police of LGBTQ people, particularly trans people, results in wrongful arrests and further abuse of the subjects while in custody. Egypt concludes our list of the worst African countries for LGBTQ travelers, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe. We love welcoming new subscribers into our community here on Think Rich Africa. So if you've just subscribed, you're welcome and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the upcoming videos.